Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel as told by Ish. So, I was just sitting here watching a YouTube video. Um, it was a declutter and it just kind of made me think that I need to not necessarily declutter, but I need to focus on really, really hone in on some of my products that I either do not reach for, things that I do not necessarily love, or things that are almost gone. So kind of those are my categories. So we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, so I'm pretty much just gonna grab what I see. So first up we have Bonfire Bash. This is just one of my minis that I actually forgot that I had. So I decided that I wanted to use it up. This does not have any notes on it. Um, however, if you all know what Bonfire Bash smells like, it's pretty much like vanilla, very, deep vanilla with a little bit of smokiness sweetness um so i just want to use this up next up here we have merry christmas iced cinnamon rose so i do love uh, okay i don't love it on my skin but i do love it as a maybe room spray so i think that's what i'm going to use this for um, I probably will be able to get rid of this really quickly and put in one of the bathrooms or just uh, all around the whole house. And I just want to get rid of it. So next up we have pumpkin pecan waffles. Now this is something that I really like. I do have a big bottle of this or the full size bottle. Um, so because I have that full size bottle, I just want to kind of use it up. Uh, hopefully I can use it before summer comes. I should be able to. Um... I have faith that I can use it up until maybe February. I think it'll be gone. So we'll see. Okay, so next what up we have my old faithful. And this is Victoria's Secret Bear, Van Bear Vanilla Untamed. This is the one that I love. I do like Bear Vanilla, but this one right here is my favorite, um, as you can see. I have one for sure as a backup. I may have two, but I definitely have one for sure. And I feel like this will always be something that is in my collection. However, just because it's almost done, it's no sense of hanging on to it because I have another one. So I do want to use it up. All right. So here we have the Ellis Brooklyn. This is vanilla milk. This is not a love. Okay. It's, it's a very... It's a like, and that's about it. I don't love it enough to keep holding on, and I need to get rid of it. Like, if you smell it, you know why. I, I don't love it, so I just want to get rid of it, you guys. So we have next is this Mariah Carey. Um, I, I don't know what perfume it is uh, inspired by, but... I saw it at the beauty supply store and I wanted to get it. And it actually smells really good. Um, very fruity, sweet type of fragrance. So yeah, this is also going to be in my project using it. So here is Gris Charnel. I only have a little bit of this left. And since I have the full bottle, I just decided that I need to just go ahead and get rid of this. This probably will be gone in two uses, maybe one um but yeah so this is one of my favorites um but i just decided to just get it out of my collection as far as the sample size so next up we have guest seductive noir and then guest seductive so these two were a part excuse me of a set that i got when i first started my journey um after covid uh yeah so i they should be gone by now how tiny they are but i just don't reach for it so i'm like let me just put it in this project and get it done okay so yeah that's why it's in here they're they're pretty but it's just i if if i don't love it in my collection i'm not i'm not gonna wear it or i just don't want it to be in my collection anymore so yeah if i don't use all of these up they will go to my daughter or my sister or my best friend or whoever wants them so yeah Next up we have this is by michael buble this is uh by invitation this is actually a very interesting perfume very vintage smelling however this is very wearable um this smells good 
I wear this not often, but I have a little dent in it. I do like it, um, but I just want to get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, I don't, it's not like a love, 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 like, oh my gosh, this smells good. I want to douse in it every day. That's pretty much what I want my collection to be. I want it to be, I want to wear it every single day. And if I don't feel that way about it, I'm going to use it up. And this is just one of those that I just want to use it up because I don't necessarily love it, but I do like it. You guys, so next up we have Ornament. This is by Afnan. This is just a really sweet perfume. I do like it. I don't love it. Again, let me see. Yeah, it's pretty. It's very, I'll say, beachy. Um, very tropical. It's it's nice. So I do like this. I probably would when I do wear it during the project. It might be like worn during the nighttime because it's very strong, but it's still pretty. So yeah, this is something that I just want to get out of my collection. This is one of the newer ones that I have. Um, out of this project right here that hasn't been sitting for a while this is probably i bought this this year uh well 2023 and um i've used it maybe three times but i bought it toward the tail end of 2023 so yeah um i want to just get rid of this eventually but i do like it okay so next up we have choco Mus. so this is clearly almost gone it's no it's no sense of me holding on to it i do like it a lot um I'm starting to like it more recently for some reason, but I just want to get rid of it. It's time for it to go because it's almost gone. Just simple as that. It's no sense in me holding on to it. I think if I do get it again, I will get the roll on next time because the scent does not last that long, obviously, but it does smell literally like a pack of the hot chocolate. So yeah, it's really pretty. I do like it. I just want to get rid of it because it's almost gone. So next up we have pistachio brulee. This is literally like, I have a few drops of this. Uh, you can't really tell. Well, there you go. You can kind of tell. But yeah, I, I just want to get rid of it. This is again something that I bought from probably Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that. Um, <clears throat> and I like it. Let me spray it. I like it, but it's not a love. But I was wearing it a lot probably for bed, I believe, when I was um when I had first got it. I like it enough for it to almost be gone. You see, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this up probably as a room spray, or maybe just at night when I get out to um when I get out the shower or the bathtub or whatever. Or I can actually put it in my diffuser. So I'm gonna think about that as well. Um when it comes to using up these perfumes to put it in my diffuser because that is a sure way of getting rid of stuff quickly okay but yeah pistachio brulee is good i would not buy it again though so next up we have fresh cream warm cashmere this is a very comforting scent i use this a lot when i first got it this season i haven't used it yet nothing's wrong with it i just haven't been reaching for it so this is going to kind of force me to use it and that's just as simple as that so yeah Next up, we have Juicy Couture. I believe this is Gold Couture. Yeah, um, this is almost gone. More than halfway empty, lady. So I'm going to just go ahead and just finish this up. I would not repurchase. This is not something that I like was head over heels about. I just, when I first started my collection all over, this was just one of my first things that I got because it was cheap. And I do like it. But again, it's not a love. And what did we say? If it's not a love, it doesn't need to be in my collection. So yeah, the bow just fell off. But anyway, so yeah, I am going to use this up and get this out of my collection. Okay, so we're coming up on the last few things. So we have Rose Gourmand. I just want to use this because I haven't reached for it. This smells so good. I just don't know why. You know what? Probably because it's so similar to other things that I have that I just do not reach for this one, which kind of is backwards, right? This this does smell like gentle fluidity gold and also like uh, I think it's vanilla musk, which is an Arabian perfume. And I reach for those. So I should be reaching for this one because it's Zara and it's a cheapie, right? So I think that I just want to 
reach for it more, at least get halfway through it. Um, so yeah, that's Rose Gourmand by Zara. All right, last in the perfumes is Majest Majestic Opulence. I forget what this is supposed to be a dupe for. It smells good. You see, I have a dent in it. I just don't reach for it. Yeah, it actually smells really, really good. So this will probably be also another perfume that I wear at night. Um, if I go out on date night or go out to dinner with my sisters or something like that. Um, yeah, I just need to reach for it more. It's very beautiful, actually. So, yeah, this is another one that I just want to at least get halfway down to. Yeah, guys, so this is my last few things. So, I have been wanting to use, of course, these um, body creams because... We all know that after a while, they all start to go bad. They all start to turn. They all start to do weird things, separate and all those things. So these are those that are in my collection that I either have gotten back in like maybe 2022. Not that old, to be honest, because some people have kept their body creams for like 10 years and still don't use them or still do use them. Um, but just for the sake of me and my collection and just getting rid of things 2022 is old for me and so yeah so vanilla mocha cream is one of the ones that is actually literally i have maybe one more use left i think i'm right here so i'm very proud that this is almost gone it smells really good i don't think i'm gonna buy again though because i'm trying to stray away from body creams in general not because I don't like it, but just because it's a body cream. Um, and also, I have other creams and body butters and lotions that I need to use up anyway. So, I'm probably going to stray away from buying Bath & Body Works body cream for a very, very long time. Probably ever, to be honest. But yeah, I really do enjoy this. Every time I have worn this, my husband is all over me. And he's like, you smell like shea butter. You smell like shea butter. And I always be like, why does he say that? And it's because of this. So, yeah, no matter what I have on, he smells this. So, yeah, it's almost gone, and I'm excited. Literally, one more use, so I'm happy about that. We have next up Dahlia. Oh, my goodness, my favorite. Um, I'm not holding on to this anymore. This is one of my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works scents. Me and my best friend go crazy over Dahlia. Now that it's back out, it's like, oh, okay, there's no need to hold on to the oldies anymore. So, yeah, this is probably maybe, I'll say two more uses left. So, I'm excited that this is almost gone. And, yeah, I got this in 2021. So, the body creams are either 2021 and or 2022. So, yeah. Dahlia, the girl. I'm sad to say this because i absolutely love fairy tale fairy tale is next as far as my favorite scents all time from bath and body works however the cream is going bad so what do i need to do use it so i'm either going to use these up as body creams as they are made to use for or shaving creams i have done that in the past or just continuously you know um putting these using after i wash my hands like just trying to get rid of them and not being stingy when I put this stuff on my body. Um, so yeah, this is, like I said, one of my favorite scents, period. But I need to use, I need to use a body cream up. I think I have like three backups of the, um, <laughs> three backs up of the body mist. But yeah, as far as body creams, I only buy one body cream of the scent. I don't have backup backs, backups of body creams. No, mm-mm. So yeah, this is my one and only fairy tale, and I will be using her up. And yeah, I'm sad about it because it smells so good and I love it, but I need to get rid of it. This mark is old. It's clearly way further down now. But yeah, so that's fairy tale. At my last two, which is in the stars. This is pretty full. It's not full, but it's pretty. I don't know if that's just air or what, but um, I'll say maybe she's down here, but like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm not marking them or anything. I'm just going to use as I use. Um, this one is really good. I wore this today with my bare vanilla untamed and I wore 
vanilla bourbon as well. So that was my scent for today using In The Stars. And I really like this In The Stars body cream. To me, no, it does not smell like Baccarat. It does not smell like Cloud. I don't know where people get that from. It smells amazing, but it does not smell like those things to me. However, I do enjoy the body cream, but I'm happy that it's in my collection so I can just use it up. So last but not least, we have Whipped Rose Latte. This is very, very good. I love to pair this with, of course, anything rose, especially Delina. Um, oh, wow. This is like one of the best like rose scents because it's so sweet. And I think that the, the vanilla in it or whatever it has in it. Okay, so rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. I, I think that the combination of that cocoa and the whipped foam makes it so, so beautiful. Um, I'm way past this line. Like I said, this is an old mark as well. But yeah, so this is what I will be using in my project. And I hope you all like this video. So here is all of the items. I'm going to put these back in. And I'm going to just hope that I enjoy using up all these things i may have an update for you guys i may not but again maybe like if i do an empties video or something i may include these in that but yeah this is like i said was just an impromptu video that i decided to do today and yeah so wish me luck guys i hope you all have a wonderful day each out of here bye